Hello, welcome back to episode 3 of a podcast. We haven't got the name yet. But yes, welcome. Back. I think it could be holiday tours. I think it's just podcast. holiday tours, travel talk. Travel talk, podcast. podcast. Holiday tours, podcast. Holiday yeah, tours, podcast. Anyway. Anyways, yes. yes. Hi, my name is Kelvin. And I'm Tanya. Yes, and today we will be talking about... Travel nightmares. Travel the nightmares. The horror stories given to us by real travelers for travelers to learn from. Shall we? Yes, definitely. Okay. We're gonna tr- we we're, we're gonna start off. So what we've side. done is mm. we gathered a few stories from our followers on social media, and some of our colleagues had interesting stories to share. And uh, you let us know like, if you had any of your own, or you agree with our, some of our tips to like counter all these nightmares. Yes. Okay. Mine. I'll start, okay? Right, I'll start. Yeah, yeah, yes, start, start, I, start, I, start I'm yours, going, yes. yeah. Uh, mine is a bit... I didn't expect it to happen to me, lah. Mm-hmm. So I was... I want to say Japan, but I was in Japan. Oh, yeah. I'm always in Japan. <laughs> Guys, she loves Japan, okay? We all love Japan. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I was in Japan. Yeah. I was catching a train from one of the cities between Tokyo to Kawaguchiko. Mm-hmm. And this train only comes by once a day. And I didn't know at that time, but the train only stops for one minute at that particular station. Mm-hmm. And I was very excited to take the train. It was not a Shinkansen, but it was still one of those very nice thematic trains. Mm-hmm. I just I was taking photos of the damn train when it <laughs> came. I was like, oh, <laughs> tick, 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 tick. and then I see it go off. Like, and that? I was like, uh, <laughs> hello, hello, excuse me, what happened? And I was like, luckily my luggage was still with me. So it was, still, oh, yeah. it was on the platform and I was like, Oh shit, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I already had paid for everything in advance. My seats and everything were paid for already. Mm. But Kayla, I was like, okay, screw it. Lah. I'll just go up to the to the staff at the train station and ask them, um, so I missed my train. What can I do? <laughs> Luckily, the guy was nice enough and in very broken English told me that, okay, you can catch this train that stops at this station, then you have to get off and change over to another train line, but you have to pay extra for the train line. Mm. And I'm like, I don't care. I I made my mistake. I'm just going to pay the price. Yes. <laughs> so thankfully, I got to my destination in one piece. Lah. I mean, that's my story. So you took picture of a train. Yes. And the train left. Yep. While you're taking the picture of yes. it. And that train's your train. <laughs> yes. And I don't even know where the photo is right now. <laughs> I, I bet the, 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 the people there at the train station looks at Tanya and she'll be like... Mm-hmm. I think it happens all the time. And these people... I, I'm very sure it happens all the time. It must be a very nice yeah, train. It must be a very it, nice yeah. train. You know what? I don't even remember what the train looks like. <laughs> well, at least you you got back but, here. But, but the train that I had to pay for after that, that one was much prettier. It looked more retro. Okay. And there was nobody else on that train. I was like, actually, this kind of worked out. Mm, so that's not so actually it's not really much of a travel nightmare la. it was, more was a travel... the luggage really heavy was it like eh, no la it was a medium sized bag because mm. I was trying to travel like that time okay. but yeah it's just at least it didn't go off without me yeah okay. off with your luggage what's <gasps> your nightmare my travel nightmare is a series of miss miss journeys and <laughs> unfortunate unfortunate events okay yeah, so I was traveling over to Australia. Shout out Sydney. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was going there uh, actually on a trip once, and what happened was is that it was a very long trip, and that time I was very new to traveling and all that, right? Oh, so I didn't pack. Baby. Yeah, I was a baby, and I was a solo traveler. So that time I was like, okay, let's go. And during that time, just so you know. We are talking about a long time ago, before Uber, before Grab. You know how we call our taxis? Yeah? Yeah. And then you either call them, and then my flight is like about... I have to be in the airport about, I think, 5 in the morning. <gasps> so I woke up about four to uh, 3 o'clock, prep everything up, 4, 4 a.m. And then what happened was, okay, yeah, I called this taxi person. Because last time, uh, for those OG taxi takers to airports, right, you have to actually know someone. No taxi driver, mm. right? And then you arrange with them and say, Hey, yep, come and pick yep, me up in my yep, house at this time, right? right? Oh. Oh no, no. That person didn't come. And then I was freaking out. Because <sighs> I can't find imagine trying to find a, a taxi without any apps at 4 a.m. in the morning. I panicked so hard. What was life like without technology? <laughs> so and then okay, okay, great, 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 great. So what I did was is that I called my my friends, I called all my family members, woke them all up 
early in the morning, mm-hmm. got one, rushed all the way to the airport. Wait, how do you get one? I they got the contact. Call- they, they gave oh, me the reference. Get- yeah, yeah. Okay, they got okay. the reference. Yeah. So they refer other taxi drivers and then I got the taxi driver. Uh, slightly more expensive. Mm-hmm. Was, yeah. I mean, it's cheaper than buying a new flight altogether. It's really it's, mm-hmm. it's, yeah yeah, but the changes though is quite significant. And what happened was is that when I reached the airport, I had to rush all the way to the terminal. Okay, great. Then I go on the plane. <laughs> I go on the plane. I was seated, like I said in our previous podcast. I don't like sitting in the 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 um windows aisle side, but I was placed there because I was booking booking. Saha, so, that should be nice, right? But it wasn't nice because that's where I found out that I can't sit near the window because I'm very bad at it. Oh yeah, you're new. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was new. <laughs> you have yeah, to know the context. New. I was new, <laughs> and then I was sitting there. I was like, oh, 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 oh. I sat down there, and then someone had to take off their shoes. Oh uh, no! I, oh, <laughs> then, then the drama continues. The person puts his the his, his legs right next to me, where my hand rest is. You know, sometimes you know. Besides the, the windows, there's like the way it curves, and then yeah, you can actually see space, the other spaces. Yeah, there's yeah, space yeah. you can see that person, and then the feet was there, and the feet was there, and I was like, "Oh, it smelled so bad. It smelled like, like, like." Oh, I can feel my lunch coming out. Yes, <laughs> uh, dried fish and wet socks. You put it together. <laughs> yeah. Then what happened? <laughs> So bad. <laughs> and then after that, I thought the person is like, "Can you?" I, I was, I'm, I'm trying to be nice. Will you tell the person off? Will you tell that person off? I would have called an S to Why would I tell that S to Because I don't so do com- stinky. I would not, I won't do confrontation, and you don't know how that person might react to you. You know, telling them off. Yeah. So I, would, I, I would have called an you S to yeah, yeah, yeah. right? And same as I. So I that time, like I said solo traveler. I don't know how to react to this situation. I just. Want to tell the tell the uh, students, but then I was too shy to tell the uh, students as well. Okay lah, okay lah. So you know what I did? I sat there in my seat. You and I just it. I, I yeah. I got to a point where I just couldn't take it anymore, and I told the person it's like, um, excuse me. I I couldn't turn. I mean, I was just too afraid to look at the person. I just said like. Oh no! I was talking. I try to make friends with the person. I say, "Oh, do you smell that? Is oh it bad? You know, we try to create that thing. You <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The indirect thing. You did the passive aggressive. Yeah, the passive aggressive thing, thing under the pretense of making friends and yes. like, oh my god, you smell that? It's so yeah. wretched. The toilet I, must be like backed up. Yeah, they work. No, <laughs> I told because I, I made friends. Imagine, okay, imagine you're the huh. person. I just tell us like, hi, are you flying? Not flying in Sydney? Are you there to study? You know, then you reply like, oh no, you know, it oh, smells by the it way. Smells <laughs> the way. So it smells, you actually way, would rather smell? speak to the person next to you than ask the S to this. I was so shy, oh, so scared. Okay, your yeah, shyness yeah, yeah, has yeah, different yeah, levels. I can't, I can't during that time, but now, now I would. Mm, but mm, 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 then I found out, I was like, why this person is not catching up on my sarcasm? You know, were they sleeping? <laughs> why? Yeah. Ah. I turned behind. I was like, I'm just so sad. I just turned behind, and it's like the person just <laughs> like that. Both of them, both of them. You should have asked the S to yeah. just to help. Yeah, then what's the S to is gonna do? Sell me your sauce. You yeah, stay. they would. You, you they stay. would. Yeah, they would. What? They would have oh. to. Or they would change your seat. If there were seats I, available, I, they would I, have done I, that. I hope it's like business class. You know, uh, send no. me there. But okay, yeah, so all of you, those who take off your your shoes during an airplane flight, I judge you. No, la, at least make you. sure you don't have any I hope, smelly no, feet. No, no, no. No, at least make sure you're. They fit. won't know if they're smelly feet. They do not know. You know that you okay. Do you know that you can't smell your smelly feet? Like you, I, mean, I think you can, but you it has, can. It has to be but really you don't bad. realize how stinky, stinky it, can it is. Be. Yeah. 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 So I hope someone talks bad about your stinky feet and you can listen about it the whole time. You just did. Yeah. <laughs> it's so bad. Okay, it doesn't end. I oh, landed God. down at Sydney Airport, right? And then I found out because I want to go visit my uncles first. So uh, my uncles is in the suburbs. They're not exactly in CBD. So I have to take a series of trains. All right? A series of trains. We are talking about three... I have to jump three lines uh-huh. of trains. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Four, including the <laughs> airport terminal. Yeah. All right? So jump, 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 jump. At the last one. Mm. And just so you know, I'm staying like for about almost like two months. 
All right. Mm, mm. I have a huge luggage bag. Huge, huge. Like it's like two of your size. Oh, yeah, one and a half your size. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, again. <laughs> because I never thought, I never thought that you, you can actually go. That <laughs> yeah, that's why I thought I was migrating. Oh, I did for my studies, but this time, I was just like there to see the first time, right? Mm. So, <laughs> I dragged my luggage. Okay, everything was fine. Okay, all the train stations fine. Everything wheelchair accessible, wonderful. Everything's great. But then, as you go further out to the suburbs, right? We're not talking about like the Wild West. Like just suburbs As you go further out Still have houses Still have everything Everything's great Um, The lift Decided to spoil And there's no elevator Ah uh, It's those staircase It's like Oh <laughs> <laughs> They ran up the staircase I was such I was so much dis- I was like In such a huge distress Everyone could see it in my face So Thank goodness, one of the people working there looked at me and said, you need help. I was like, yes, I need oh, help. Oh, so nice. So they helped me up, yeah. So I nearly nice died. Up. I nearly died. So you got on the right train after that? I, I was. I I, fe- I, ended, I landed, I not landed, I arrived yeah. at the yeah. train station. Yeah. And then, you know when it, it's, it's in the subway or it's mm-hmm, like, slowly, mm-hmm. like below the, yeah. the, the ground level. And then what happened is that you have to go up the stairs. And the stairs is not like, oh, you know, like a few steps. No, 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 no. This is like, like Batu Caves. <laughs> I mean, that's an exaggeration. But, but really, it's so high up. It's so uh, high up. Oh, uh, yeah. And I, I like remember their steps. That, like, their steps can be More quite... than 20 kilos. It's <gasps> almost more than 20 kilos of clothes. I think it's like, it's a lot, a lot of clothes. Because I was also preparing for the seasons. Oh. Uh, yeah, so. So that's why you up. go to the gym now oh and do lifts, gosh, la, right? No, for, no. For, in, for incidences like this. I will like, never travel more than 20 kilos. Ever. Ever again. Mm. You can just wash I can do what you do you know go to yeah, the to the true. to, the, wash to the wash your clothes correct, and then correct. always yeah. find a hotel or a accommodation that has yes. washing facilities all these add up the mm. entire trip yeah. I just oh, trauma core memory that's okay <laughs> this, time, uh, this time you baby baby traveler baby traveler baby now, traveler now yes now way more experience mm-hmm. yeah. mm-hmm. actually and, speaking of mm. trains mm. we have few followers submit their stories to us on social media mm. if you ever follow us why and you should so yes. uh, start check, following now uh, okay. the links in everywhere our links will be in the description box yes. below okay so yeah. someone Chi Ying Ling Okay. Should we, should we cancel? Like, should we privatize it? Like, if they submit like, with their full name, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so like, oh, okay. This guy, so this person, this person um, shared that she went to China with her best friend and they had to sit in a train from Chongqi to Wuhan. Pardon my pronunciation. I'm actually a banana. So my Chinese is not fantastic. Okay. <laughs> So basically, they could only get hard seats because they booked at the last minute and sitting across them was this Rural guy who was chain smoking and was talking very loudly the whole time. And he was he spent an hour detailing how he hated foreigners, mm. not realizing that her friend and herself could understand him the entire time. So this is the good thing about being from a very Muhiba country. Yes. You speak three languages minimum. So it was an overnight train too. Oh my god, that sounds painful. Yeah. And by the time we got off the train. Her back was already hurting and they didn't get enough sleep. Mm. She has taken hard seat trains before for 14 hours, but because of the guy smoking and talking for the whole ride, yeah. she said it was the worst trip she had in China. They can smoke in the train. Apparently. I, yeah, I think apparently so. Apparently they must yeah. be smoking in the train. Oh, uh, I think uh. I think in China is probably a lot. I'm not so sure about now because she yeah. said this story is before mm. the lockdown. So things yeah. could have changed. People yeah. there could be more health conscious. That sounds like pure torture. Mm. Yes. Oof. I I can't I can't anymore. The yeah, I can't, no, I can't. I won't do hard trades. I no. would probably pay a little bit more to make sure it's a bit more private or at least more comfortable in that sense. I don't know. I saw the videos like people go on sleeper trains. Uh huh. We're going like in Vietnam. I think we should do it together. <laughs> oh, I might not kill because you. Because I'm going to be like. I don't snore, okay. I, well, I'm very tired. I okay. do sometimes, mm-hmm. but oh my goodness. No. Mm. no. No, I think yeah, private. Private private or, cabin. Yeah. 
Like at least some trains, yeah. they have the option where you have different classes. And some, like this one sounds like the most basic category where you mm. have to share mm. with basically every passenger. Or you can upgrade and go for the semi-private ones where you yeah. got four people in a room but you don't know who's your cabin mate. Yeah. Or you pay a bit more premium and you go for the really private uh, Or you can just cabins. wear a mask. Mask? Mm-hmm. Mask one a thing back then, maybe. Oh my gosh. What yeah. a surprise. And then I saw the word Chongqing. 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 Producer, how to pronounce uh? Chongqing. 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 I sent you that video. Chongqing. This reminded me ah. the video you. Oh, uh, I don't know. That's the video you all saw. It's like this guy went up the stairs. And oh, just yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, like, so that's why you can relate to the guy on the stairs. You suffered. Yeah. I, oh, there's this video that this guy just keeps on climbing stairs and stairs and, and stairs and stairs ending. and it never ends and you thought it was gonna end no there's more stairs it's a time lapse or more it's a time lapse and then the <laughs> camera guy just got so tired and the guy is just like there's more stairs it's just stairs and Chong Ching can you all confirm that I need you all to confirm that because maybe, I saw that maybe video maybe your next trip part? should be to China oh yeah Actually, we should make China. a trip to China we should make a trip China to China China is nice mm, now if we can even speak we don't have so to well. pay for visa more <gasps> oh, it's visa yeah. free until November. Mm, so go and check out China. Mm-hmm. That's one thing. And then okay, so next one next, one, next one, next one, next one, next one. You pick, you pick. I pick, I pick. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. Next one, next one. So oh, which one? Woo-hoo. Wong says that I used to travel solo a lot before the pandemic. I've been jumped by gangs in alleys. I spent days without food. I've been bitten by countless bugs. I've had to wash my hands in nothing in goat's intestines. I spent days in airports. Nothing was as bad as food poisoning on an airplane. Oh. Oh, oh, uh, oh. A metal tube at least 30,000 feet with other 200 people is not the best place to evacuate your guts. Oh, I had lots of that. I had, lots I of had that. I've fallen sick on a flight back from China. But I think Whoa. it's because I was stupid. Okay, now another one of my nightmares. Because uh-huh. I was, we did a group tour thing mm-hmm. and the last hotel had a hot bath mm-hmm. outside. So the room had a hot bath and it had a normal bath. So it was our last night and we were just taking advantage of it. It was a very beautiful hotel. Very one of those like five-star hotels. Yeah, yeah. And so we were running, me and my sisters were like running back and forth between the hot bath and then we were watching TV and because I were kids back then. Running back and forth. So I think I fell sick. And on the flight back, I just had, I was just purging. Oh. I was going through oh. detox in the air. Ooh. Thankfully, I had the aisle seats. So I could keep running back and forth to the toilet. They keep on saying, <laughs> aisle seats are better than window seats. Okay, I make my point. Okay, fine. Then I have again, to have I stand it. by, it depends on what time your flight is. <laughs> I need it on a plat. It so, has to be written as law. <laughs> aisle seats are everybody better. will have the aisle seat. Nobody wants the window seat. How? Then they better make it cheaper then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my god. Purging. Another one, speaking of flights and airports, we had okay, an anonymous submission. Mm-hmm. So this person traveled to Hong Kong in 2019 during the mm-hmm. height of the protests. If you if you guys remember what happened then. So he had the unfortunate luck of staying at a hotel almost in the center of the protest and needed all kinds of identification just to get inside the airport for his flight. Mm-hmm. But somehow they sorted it out. Lah. I don't think... I mean, if it's a protest, if you're a traveler and you be smart about it, nothing much will happen to you unless you're very unlucky. Lah. But can you imagine being in the middle of it, your hotel room and you just look down? <laughs> Quite different. Experience. Do they have cut off time? <laughs> do they have cut off time? I mean, do you protest and have cut off time? I don't know. I would. Like, ever, does never, everyone just said, "Okay, we are done." Then we I've go back never home. been part of a protest. Yeah, we we're Even just though, too nice. Well, Bersi counts as a protest. Or you were there? I wasn't. <gasps> there. I was a bit. I didn't want to go. <laughs> I was too scared. <laughs> I mean, I wore the yellow shirt, but I was just like, "Yeah, I'm not." I'm not gonna, I don't uh, want to go there. I stood at home and just watch. The yeah, news. exactly. Yeah. We support it from a safe distance. Yes. <laughs> oh okay. my gosh, no. Well, it'd be quite scary. I mean, yeah. I was in Bangkok when they had the red shirt protest, but that one wasn't didn't really affect Bangkok main area. But they can get quite aggressive. They can. They can so, get quite aggressive, yeah. Yeah. 
So that one, but you, can, you can't change your travel unless you're really scared, but you can't really change much of your plans based on that. Well, one. you have to, mm, maybe if the hotel compensates your stay and then book mm. to another hotel or maybe another branch of its own or somewhere, you know, let's say mm-hmm. if you're there at maybe a, it doesn't have to be a five star, but you know, hotel A, and then hotel but A has another. But if you pay for a five star, it has to be a five star compensation. Star, I mean, yeah. Right? Unless you value five your stars safety a bit more. Hard to move mm. Because five stars don't have much um, branches. Unless you're part of the Marriott group. Ah, uh, yes. Marriott is, yes. has a lot of connections. Yes, different connections. hotel chains under one yes, group. And yes. I think that one is But bad. it has to be the same tier. Yeah, I'm sure they, yeah, have, plenty. they, have, they have plenty. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the thing I like about planning my and um, booking my trips with the Marriott Bonjour group. Yeah. Is they have many options. A lot. Yeah. Plenty. You'll be surprised how big Marriott is. Yeah. When I first yeah, joined. A lot of people don't realize how Yeah, they don't know how big they are. Yeah. They don't know how big the Hilton groups are. They don't know how big the the uh leading hotel groups are. They are huge. Mm. Surprisingly, almost every hotel you see actually belongs to like one group. Yep, definitely. Those yeah, are the more just... cre- those are definitely the credible ones. Yeah. And if you book with reputable hotels, you won't have an incident like what happened to Nor Amalia. Mm-hmm. she shared that she had a nasty hotel during her trip to uh, Orlando and it was almost movie bad mm. okay, I don't know what she means but maybe like movie. Bates Motel bad Bates. <laughs> okay anyway <laughs> she said there were stains on her bed sheet you mold on the bathroom no. walls and she is never letting her husband book the hotel again that would be very wise <laughs> I think this is a bit a bit laced <laughs> with the marriage concern. Maybe <laughs> it can be just a husband. I mean, she you know maybe her husband's really bad. I mean, someone in the in the relationship surely just be oh let's just let's just book that hotel because it's cheaper and closer maybe. to that place. Yeah, actually, my dad's done that. Isn't He's it? booked a hotel oh. for my family. Oh, actually, I have a lot of horror stories. <laughs> we went to Phuket and he booked a hotel like on the edge of the city, the town area, mm-hmm. but it felt very hunted. <gasps> like, you know, you get the vibe. Oh, you walk in yes, and it's just like your, your bubulu all stands up. Bubulu. And I'm, I'm, I'm like checking every your corner. Bu- <laughs> just looking at every corner. Is this called bubulu? You know? Okay. Anyway, you, know, you check everything. <laughs> I checked everything. I went to a bathroom mm. and I was like looking at every corner. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to see. Are you turn off the lights? Then you it was light. damn scary. Uh, I actually felt like somebody was watching us, you know. Uh, so we checked out and moved out to another hotel the next day. Oh, so you did stay at night? We stayed at night. Whew. You know, that was the when we start feeling like... Because yeah, it was very know. dark. The walls yeah. looked like red. I remember it being red. And there was like... The bathroom was like red very walls. dim. And there was a very dark corner. And I was like, this is a very good opening for a horror movie. Juan, the ring. No, or someone who have just made like some Bomo thing there. I don't know yeah, lah. Like. I mean, know. that was the era when all these horror stories, all these yeah. supernatural horror movies yeah. came out, right? Uh, so yeah. it was like... my I don't know whether it was my, whether it was my imagination. Uh-huh. My, my brain was just going into overactive drive. But my whole family moved out, so maybe there was really something yeah. to it, lah. Yeah, maybe as, <laughs> they're scared of looking at the mirror as well. Yeah, yeah. Everyone I always scared of looking at mirrors. I was oh. so afraid there would be something behind me. Oh, when I look at the mirror. or you look at oh, or you look at the reflection of the TV, <laughs> and then you look at yourself, but then you're like, is there something there? I don't want to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of that horror story, nightmares, travel nightmares. This is also really related to this one particularly what? as well. So one of the Travis, shout out to Mas, <laughs> <laughs> shares their travel nightmare, uh, recounting experience where they and their friend traveled the country and discovered that the toilet and accommodation was see through. Oh, Ooh. it's one of those hotels <laughs> where the it's more of like honeymoon. Yes. When the tea tea yes. is a bit right. Yeah, 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 Open yeah. the window, they're like, oh, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> but no no um, but thing is is that it's so awkward when you are traveling with your friends I mean not saying even friends of it just like if you're not really close enough okay this is another topic no like even with me. friends also you'd be like ugh I've watched you poo to watch you shower a bit awkward but like. have you seen your best friend like naked before I don't have a best friend <gasps> <gasps> emo <laughs> She doesn't have best friends. Quick, people, follow no, her. No, no, no her. opening. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no application. No, no application. Yeah, no. rejection. Nope. So what? Nope, Everyone nope. just stops at friend level. Yes. So no naked experience. No, no. no. Mm. I also don't. I don't. I, I, wait. <laughs> and this... Anyways, 
<laughs> yes. Yeah. Topic now. <laughs> so that that's the odd part because it relates to one of my stories as well. Because imagine, okay, imagine that people will say, oh, this toilet, you know, the sexy toilet, right? Mm. That the they have this partition where you can see into the bedroom, correct? And then you have the toilet there, but you cannot. Oh, there's curtains. There are blinds. Yeah, usually there'll be those things you can roll down, right? No, not all. <sighs> not all hotel rooms has that. So I believe Mars has experienced that in France, and they had to take turns leaving the room, or like looking away. <laughs> it's so awkward. Okay, I don't know. It's so weird as well. Um. If I my friends were there, I as well would be okay if they're like my best friends. I mean, once while we did something like that before, mm-hmm. uh, we didn't bother. We just like oh, okay, uh, and then make fun of each other. But, I think I won't make my friend leave the room, lah. You just yeah. like, face one corner. Oh, but play this your one, phone. But this one will make you leave the room. Let me tell you. Okay. All right. There's this very nice. Um, it's not a hotel. It's like those boutique hotels. It has like a thematic industrial style hotel. Okay. In Ipoh. Okay, in Ipoh, and uh, for those you all know, it's a very nice, actually very nice boutique hotel on top of the concubine name. I'm not sure if you've seen it before. I think I it has some Chinese. There's some I name. I feel like I know. Yeah, which one. I I forgot name. the name. It has like some random name that is like says behind some Chinese store, but it's actually in concubine lane. It's the only hotel in concubine lane on top of Plan B. Only hotel. They have two sorts. Okay, so we saw this hotel with a friend and I. Um, we saw it. It was only 80, 88 a night. Mm. So good. Someone in concubine lane, center of it all, all the happenings over there. Booked it, all right? Mm. Because we saw that the, the toilet has a sexy toilet. But my friends are not like that. My friend, <laughs> they're not into that kind of uh, exhibitionist. <laughs> but we saw that, we thought there was like, oh, there's curtains and all. You can actually close, close it. Yep. Close. Yep. Oh my goodness, me. When we arrived there, all right, wow, beautiful industrial style, everything. I then I decided to like look properly and then open. We went in there and we saw, oh, yes, there's a sexy bathroom, but the sexy bathroom is on a pedestal. <laughs> so the pedestal is like lifted, like uh, slightly elevated. Yeah, I have to actually take a stairs to go up there, and the <laughs> curtains are sheer. Okay. You can see through the curtains a bit. Oh my god. So see through curtains, okay? It is black. Black curtain. But you can see through. It's like those... So you can see the silhouette of the person showering. Oh, not... You can see a bit more than oh, just a silhouette. Wow, no yeah, censorship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, that's not the worst part, okay? It's so industrialized, right? You know the toilet? Uh-huh. It's not inside the bathroom. It's outside. It's outside, covered by a like a, a a small wall and beside it has no curtain. So imagine that this is the bed here, okay? The bed here. Here. The bed okay. over here. Okay. There's a small wall because it's on a lifted platform. The bathroom is here. You can literally look at it like it's a fish tank. Next to it here, there's a small wall mm-hmm. and that's the toilet bowl. There's no doors. So if you do a big one, the whole oh. room will smell. Aromatic. You will hear it. <laughs> ASMR. You, <laughs> pew, 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 pew. <laughs> you will smell it. Maybe you feel the warmth of it. Oh, are you guys very good friends now? Best, we are still best, best friends. We are ah, child friends. But, prob- but that's a problem. She's female. The friendship has the transcended friends- levels. Oh, of- I don't know how we did it. Oh my god. And then, and then not only that, when I decided to check the reviews of the hotel, I just found out people made a few content about it saying that's haunted. And the person that was a vlogger talking about it being haunted and the paranormal activities happening in the room, vlogging about it, and he stood where I was standing. I was like... <sighs> okay, I know which hotel you're talking about. I it's the think my hotel. parents have stayed there before, but I've not heard of it being haunted. Yes, the hotel above Plan B at Concubine Lane. Yeah. People, okay? Y'all, I won't say the name, but y'all know what it is. But it's really nice. It's really nice. But it's thank goodness, nothing paranormal happened. I closed my eyes really, shut my eyes really tight that night. I just just didn't want to see. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll hear anything. I wear earplugs. Everything. I, I, I did everything not to feel. To feel. Yeah. Well. How do we arrange our bathing? I had to turn around. But if you off the lights, the sheerness of the thing goes away. 
But I just can't okay. get over the, the toilet bowl. I just can't get <laughs> over the toilet bowl. But how come you book that without checking what the toilet situation was like? Because they don't have really the pictures of the toilet. Even on Google reviews, oh, don't tell me this was an error before Google, you didn't check Google reviews. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. It's mm. not a long time era. It was last year. <laughs> you were in a travel agency. Yeah. I know. Wait, was this... this wait, 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 wait. It's before I joined. Ah, it's before I joined. Actually, still no like, there's still no exception. Yeah, I just, <laughs> didn't, I just didn't look for a sight. I just saw, hey, it's 88 a night. Okay? He stopped at the... What, 88 what, what, what? a night. Very good number. 88, 86, somewhere around there. Yeah, it didn't hit 100 okay, okay, at once. Okay. So, yeah. But this is why you should always research. Research. In advance. Yes. And not just... I mean, Google review is a real thing. La. Please check yeah. check the photos. Not just submitted by the hotel or the establishment. Check the what visitors. They can submit yes. their photos, right? And, uh, and then you can return the favor and do the same as well. <laughs> just help people I, out. I, la. I wanted to tell the owner, like, can you put, put like proper photos of your toilet? Because people need to know. Yeah. People or, need to know. Or book through a travel agency and they can be they should be able to tell you this bathroom has no curtains, this one if you want a little special time, this yes. one is suitable for you type of thing, la, you know. Or, or best for solo travelers. Correct. Yeah. If that room is solo, I don't mind. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of people still live in the era where they think they can rock up to a hotel and expect it to be not full. Mm. They think they can last minute. Oh, probably, if I'm coming in last minute, they'll probably give me a cheaper rate. Mm. But I find that that doesn't seem to work nowadays. Mm -mm. So we actually had one of our colleagues submit that they tried to arrive at the hotel without booking the room. Only to find out that all the hotels within the vicinity was all booked up and they had nowhere to sleep. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, well, he didn't share like, how he solved that problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, okay. I, maybe they slept at a station or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But they said, you know, don't do this. Always book in advance. And mm -hmm. some of our other colleagues also shared that they missed out on many attractions yeah. and even restaurants because they didn't book in advance or they didn't do enough research. Especially for like halal options, where you're, wherever you're visiting, mm -hmm. you need to do some research as to find where your halal options are. Because not every restaurant, just because um, they say they're Muslim friendly, they might not be halal. It's yes. two different things. So do your due diligence. Yeah. Like, Although they say pork free, it's not exactly it's not halal. Exa they can say yeah. pork free, but they should have alcohol. Yeah. So Or they must have used ingredients that are correct. not halal. It yeah. can be even in the sauces, actually. Mm, mm, mm. It's not halal. So it doesn't really uh, correspond to pork free. Mm -hmm. I.e. being halal. Correct. Yeah, it doesn't correspond that way correlates sorry correlates that way so that's yeah. why it's important to do mm. your homework do on your this homework. yeah do your homework mm -hmm. mm. especially this person going uh crabby crabby yeah. and there's many monkeys don't wear shiny stuff uh, that's why uh, don't wear anything shiny or flashy i feel like that monkeys doesn't do apply to just shiny stuff mm. I, I saw a video of one um tourist in i think it was bali the monkey actually climbed onto their back, zipped open it, oh took out stuff. Gosh. And then when the tour guide tried to chase it away, the monkey actually just like lashed out at him. So oh, the tour guide was scared. So I think it's not, <laughs> it's not like <laughs> no, it's not stuff. Scared. Okay, okay, you, can, you, can, you cannot stop monkeys. Yeah. yeah they, they are, they are, they are, they are there but for But they, yeah. I think monkeys, what happened to them is we are at fault for how we treat them because we keep feeding them. Mm. And because of that, they get used to people. Sounds like a lot of our colleagues here, so. Huh. <laughs> 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 you feed them and then they get angry <laughs> and then they start lashing. <laughs> Talking about yourself, ah, yeah, 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 that's, that's At that's least problem. you got self-awareness, ah. Oh. <laughs> that's why we have a lot of food. <laughs> one day, one day you'll take a tour around our office and you just realize there's just a lot of food. You should do an office tour soon. You should do an office yeah. tour. Yeah. Okay, next. Okay, next. Pick one. Disappointing hotel experiences. They recount a situation where the hotel toilet again. Oh, is oh it's the same one. Oh, wait, wait, this is the same one. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. No, I think it's not the same, but it's a similar story. It's always, oh, same, the... similar. It's always toilet issues. Yeah. Like they say over here that um, good accommodations, the toilets are not on par to what they think are the hotel standards. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of screw over their honeymoon, which is... Mm -hmm. Because yeah, usually when we book a hotel, we tend to look at the room 
itself, mm-hmm. but we give the toilet a second thought. Yes. Which, I mean, fair enough. Lah. I mean, the room is where you're going to be most of the time. Yep. Toilets, like, yep. if you have emergency or what, Nima. But at the same time, how they clean the toilet also mm-hmm. reflects on how they clean the rest of the room. Mm. True, true, true. Food for thought. Another one, uh, lastly also that is, should we, should we tell? <laughs> Crystal <laughs> one of our colleagues yeah shout out to Crystal uh, having to revolve around flight delays causing a domino effect roughly at mine as well see it's always like something delay or something bad happened at the start boom everything just starting uh, chain reaction right she has the stress of frustration like, of missing connecting flights leads to ruined plans including check-ins hotel check-ins over trip planning she has a dismay express a dismay at, at hotels not providing booked accommodations such as king size bed instead of a oh. twin bed additionally she highlights the challenges with communicating and uh, communication and assistance from guides partly due to language barriers these experiences contributed to her overall nightmare so it's one after the other wow, she really very bad luck <laughs> sure. flight is bad Check in and then yeah, wait. your oh. journey, your trip starts from the flight itself. And can you imagine Crystal's married? Mm. Okay, yes, too bad. She's <laughs> <laughs> she's married, yeah, to a wonderful husband. And I know them, and I know that they're very close. Of course, they're very close, and they're like very beautiful and lovely together. To be yes, yes. And you're married, kind yes, of. Of course, close. they have to. If they don't <laughs> not close, also they have to. <laughs> but basically, they I can suspect that this is like a very romantic thing. And then the hotel gift. Twin bed. So, uh, yeah. What is this? It's like slip by a divorced I mean, couple like that. Surely, <laughs> when you specifically book a king size yeah. bedroom, it's yes. like, duh. I yeah, they're going to be married. They're going, they don't need to be separate. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, they specifically requested for it. It's the hotel, okay, la, it's within the hotel's prerogative to change the room arrangement. That is what you signed up for. But obviously, you don't you don't want yeah. that to happen to you. Yeah, you don't it want that to happen. Because it's kind of potong scheme. Yeah. Oh. The hotel literally issued divorce letters. <laughs> <laughs> it literally issued separation. Drama. <laughs> yes. Drama. I think you know, she made it. I mean, she did say it's really, yeah, you know, it was really bad. She did book for yeah, a king-size bed. Yeah, she did book as king-size yeah. bed instead. They had a twin. Yeah. Which is not, no, no. Yeah. But and for it to yeah. start with the flight delays I mean yeah. rule of thumb when you're booking flights with connecting mm. flights you mm. book like you give yourself that two hours extra mm. don't book one hour thinking your flight's gonna be on time yes because if it's two hours it's just nice you know yes. in case anything happens you get one hour at least one hour buffer yes one hour is really you really pray to God lah, nothing happens to your flight yeah. lah. but two hours minimum is the safest and the other tip is you book um on the same book King number. You don't mm. book one airline and then you go to the website and book another airline for your connecting flight. You don't book it separately. You don't make sure it's together. Make sure they're code sharing like uh, Malaysia Airlines code shares with JL. Mm. So once you book that one number, one booking number, if anything happens, at least the airline can take care of you because yeah. they know it's on them. So yeah. at least you do that. Mm. I think airlines really play such a critical role because the moment they just like cause delays or at the start you just screw up at the part just right. by airlines right it really just causes the entire trip mm-hmm. it really caused the entire trip so much problems yeah, something that should be more. enjoyable yeah it's, <laughs> if this one part right. goes wrong at the start of the trip it's quite stressful it sets la. the mood it sets yeah, the tone already set. for the, the thing you'll miss out maybe if you have booked like certain attractions in advance boom cannot mm-hmm. because there was a delay mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. really does set the mood so always pick a reliable I mean, uh, even the reliable yeah. airlines, sometimes airlines, they can't yeah. help it. La, so. I mean, it don't, the, but yeah. you do what you can within your control, mm. like making sure your layover has the minimum buffer. It really does depend. Although, yes, we can't control that there are delays mm. or maybe cause certain to do with um, weather mm-hmm. or maybe quota. Yes, but it's how they handle. Correct, how they handle it. That's part of the really service. Makes the service correct, makes correct. a difference. The service makes a difference. Yeah. So that's about it. Or no? It? Yeah. Ah. Mm. <sighs> That's, oh a lot of horror That's a lot of horror stories. So we have plenty of trauma to share all the time. Yes. So maybe <laughs> we should do a part two of this. We should do a part two. We have many, 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 yeah. many nightmares. Uh, also, we might be experiencing soon because you'll be traveling. I oh, hope that within a year. Going yeah, to I'll be traveling. You already booked. Yeah. Yeah. I'm 
not quite sure where. I'm still figuring out. Maybe you can start. ask them to help you pick where you want to go. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you oh, going? They're going to send me to some <laughs> <laughs> weird place. <laughs> but yeah, somewhere. And and definitely, we, there's always plenty to share our traumas around. So do feel free to share your travel nightmares as well within the comment section below or anywhere in our social media platforms as well and message Just, us yeah, we, yeah. yeah we'll reply you directly I mean if you go reach out to us on holiday tours on Instagram it's probably Tanya or, or she'll share me the thing and then we'll like, reply to yeah, you yeah. over there we'll so yeah you. you actually can yes. speak to us uh, through social media and then feel free to follow like subscribe Check us out now, Instagram. There's a lot of things going on. Also able to catch on a lot of special deals that come and keep in touch <laughs> with all the special offers mm-hmm. as well that yeah, we have to yeah. offer. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see you next episode. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.